Welcome. Every treasure here is unique. Garen. <laughs> yep. There's nothing here that Paimon recognizes. That's for sure. <laughs> what did I tell you? These are all rare items brought back by adventurers from all corners of the world. Is there anything that catches your eye? need. I forgot to mention, I operate on a trading basis. Goods for goods. No more are accepted here. I've been trying to make something a bit special recently, and I need a lot of Animo sigils to decorate it with. Do you have any Animo sigils with you? <laughs> it seems the Animo Archon approves of your adventures then. More to the point, any animal sigils you find you can trade in here for items in the shop. Animo sigils appear all over Mondstadt. If you find yourself short, just keep exploring. Absolutely! What could be more beautiful than a gift from the Animal Archon? <laughs> okay, you got me. It's actually more complicated than that, but it's easier for people to understand if I just say it's for decoration. Obviously, the reason I need Animo sigils is because they have properties that other materials cannot provide. But it's working! Paimon's curious now! <laughs> well, it wouldn't be much of a surprise if I gave everything away now, would it? Do come again soon, and bring me lots and lots of Animo sigils next time. Please also visit if you come across any weird and wonderful treasures on your adventures.
Here. Did you have a good read through of the gliding manual? Got all the Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ugh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh this is so embarrassing. It's because maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the...
killed it. But it's no surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting. Dodge this. More like it. the exam same deal as before glide through the markers and get to the finish without stopping in the middle of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. Easy! You've flown this way before anyway! Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Windborne Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. Uh, what's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. 
So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. Keep up with me! Veil. There must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. Ooh, hey, what do you think this is? It looks like a broken tree branch. No elemental traces on it. Oh, it looks like it's just a plain old tree branch. Hmm, a strip of cloth with animal markings on it. 
Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wing glider. Wow, Outriders have to be textile experts now? It's a harder job than Paimon thought. You. If this really belongs to Raptor, it must mean his wind glider is broken. I must leave no stone unturned. assistance. Slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stumped on one to take off. Hmm. How do we know if this was left by raptor or an animal slime? Either way, let's make a mental note of these markings. They're very clear. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead. It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep... I'll catch up. Goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. The hilly chills won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the hilly chills attacked our carts. <sighs> Luckily, I outran them. Hilly churls? But I thought the Knights of Favonius had cleared out most of the hilly churl camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village, but the route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today, oh, some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Oh, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out in the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny looking. In what way? Oh, he was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. 
It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm gonna report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong lead. On with the chase! Oh, and don't worry. As soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. There's no end to this. So free! This moment will be full of fun. Go, go, bury them! Get out of here. <laughs> Apart from the hilly trolls, uh, there's a bunch of funny looking people subject. too! Judging from the type of wind gliders they've got, I'd say this lot is with Raptor. But if that's the case, what are they hanging around here for? I wonder. Well, this measly bunch can't slow us down, that's for sure. But we also haven't found the artifact, which means Raptor still has it on him. Forget these guys. Come on, let's keep following the elemental markings. <sighs> huh, look where we are. The elemental power on the artifact must have worn off. Raptor must have realized the markings would give away his position and set his minions to slow us down. That way, when the effect wears off, he can make his escape. He won't get away with this. After him! There's only one way over there. Raptor must be up ahead. However, it looks like the only way we can catch up is if we glide. But there's a ton of enemies below. They'll definitely attack us after we take off. If we're gonna do this, we'll have to glide and defeat them in one fell swoop. You still had one stage to go in your exam, right? Yeah, but what's that gotta do with anything? How about we make this the third and final stage of your gliding exam? Are you sure that's how the exam is supposed to go? It's a custom version of the exam, designed by yours truly. Besides, the normal version of the exam wouldn't be fit for the hero of Mondstadt himself. So, what do you say? Woohoo! Good answer! Prepare for takeoff! Raptor awaits you once you defeat all these enemies. Then that gliding license is yours! Yeah. 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 
Natural. I knew you'd be fine. All that's left now is to grab ourselves a raptor. Let's go! What's the hurry?
keep up with me. Cool it. Like there's no way across. Ugh, he must be around here somewhere. Amber! Over there! If you insist on chasing me, so be it. Huh? Who brought the little girl? You must be a raptor! You can't escape! <laughs> I don't need to escape. There's no way you can make it over here. Oh, it is pretty high. And quite far. Oh, little girl, why don't you run along home now? Hey, watch it! You're talking to a Knights of Favonius Outrider! You'll be sorry when I arrest you! Ah, <sighs> you're right. Ugh, he's right there in front of us! If only we could glide across! <sighs> so how did he get across? If it's too far to glide, it's definitely too far for anything like that. There's also no sign of an anchor point. Bye-bye, kiddo. Oh no! He's getting away! Oh, we can't hesitate any longer. The only way to get across is to glide there. But... but... Don't worry, I'm the gliding champion of Mondstadt, remember? If Raptor can do it, I can do it too. Oi, Outrider! You have less chance of surviving this than jumping off the Animo God statue in Mondstadt without your wind glider. <laughs> Paimon sees your point. If you rule out everything that's completely impossible, gliding is the only idea left. Remember that book I lent you? The one I thought was the gliding manual, but wasn't? The first birds couldn't fly. Flight was their reward for their courage to plunge into the canyon. <sighs> Be my witness. Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully... 
Wait! Stop! You'll never make it! Come on, off you go now. Back home like a good little girl. Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully, the wind, the wind says I will make it. And that's good enough for me. Amber! No! You're gonna fall! You're gonna fall! <gasps> it's a wind current! She, she's gliding! Amber's gliding! You're crazy, kid! You must have known about the wind current! There's no way you would have jumped otherwise! The wind takes care of Just those who have watch. courage. Now sit still and await your arrest, like a good little boy. You're in for a little shot. <laughs> cool it. This moment will be frozen in time. Just a temporary setback. Dodge this! Ha! Freeze! Ha! Freeze! Cool it! Hit! Picked the wrong test. All right, I got him! I only noticed the wind current from in the air, and it's the only one. It would be suicide to try and escape in the direction Raptor was going. In other words, the only way Raptor could have gotten out would be this way, past us. Aha! So he was just trying to fool us by acting smug, in the hope that we would just give up and leave. Little did he know, we're not so easily fooled. It was all thanks to your sharp thinking. Just like a wise man once said, once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. At the end of the day, gliding is seven parts technique, three parts instinct, and then 90 parts courage. What you did now looked more like 99 parts courage. Ah, uh, it was just like in my first gliding exam. I was super nervous, but in the end, there was nothing to be afraid of, and I passed no problem. I kind of missed that nervous rush in the exams I've done since then. It just wasn't the same. Um, sorry. Paimon thought you said you passed no problem. What do you mean exams since then? Uh, well, you see, the thing is, Mondstadt is all no glide zone this, no landing zone that. Oh, every time I get my license, it keeps getting revoked. I must have taken the exam about 15 times altogether. But I always pass the first time. I guess my little gliding manual ain't so bad after all. Let's go and get a copy of the real gliding manual from acting Grandmaster Jean sometime. I'll head off first because I need to escort Raptor back to the city. Once you're back in the city, don't forget to come find me at the cathedral. I'll issue your gliding license there. <sighs> she just can't sit still, can she? Guess that's why she's the outrider. When this is all done and dusted, let's head to the cathedral in Mondstadt. Getting this gliding license has turned into... Hello, nice 
nice to meet you. My name is Xiangling. I'm a chef from Liyue. My favorite place is the chicken. I mean, the kitchen. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? Anything the knights can do for you. Congratulations! Here is your gliding license! You're officially legal now! Yay! I'm not surprised, though. You are a natural after all. Oh, and I'll sign you up for the next wind gliding championship! I glide so fast that no one can keep up! It's just me up there, on my own, gliding around... <sighs> it's kinda boring. Oh, fighting talk. <laughs> it seems you have no idea how terrifying the championship really is. Well, until I kick your butt in the championship, I wish you a happy, liberating, and above all, law-abiding, gliding experience. Make sure you obey the rules. Whatever you do, don't get your license revoked. Oh, brother. If you ask me, that's a bit rich coming from Amber. Report to the church. Back to Lily. <laughs> 